While Scrivener is the ideal tool for long-form writing, some users may need to export their projects in Microsoft Word's .docx format to send to colleagues, agents, or editors. You may also want to import Microsoft Word documents to your projects. Scrivener can do both. The .docx format is used by Microsoft Word, but other word processors can also save files in that format. To import a .docx file, select the folder where you want the file stored in the binder, choose File, Import, Files, then select the file you want to add to your project. Scrivener imports the file and adds it to the selected folder in the binder. You can also drag these files into the binder. You can import these files into your working folders or add them to your research folder. Rather than import a .docx file as a single file in the binder, you may want to import the file and split it. Scrivener can examine the document and create individual files in the binder for different sections. There are two ways to do that. Start by choosing File, Import, Import and Split. The Import and Split dialog shows two options. You can split the document using its outline structure, or you can have Scrivener find separators in the text. If you're importing a Microsoft Word file created with styles, such as Heading 1, Heading 2, etc., Scrivener can detect these headings and split the document into separate files, with the file names adopting the names of the headings. Select a file, choose Split using the document's outline structure, then click Import. Here's what the Scrivener binder looks like after I imported a copy of Henry David Thoreau's Walden, where the title was styled with Heading 1 and each chapter title styled with Heading 2. If you choose Split into sections by finding separators in the text, you need to prepare the document with characters that separate sections. By default, the split character is the number sign, pound, or hash character. But you can use any character or sequence of characters. You'll need to go through your document and insert these characters where you want the document split. Select a document, choose the option to split by finding separators in the text, then click Import. There are two ways you can export your project in .docx format. To export individual files from your binder, select one or more files, choose File, Export, Files, choose a format, select a location, then click Export. If you select individual files, Scrivener exports those files. If you select a folder, Scrivener exports a folder with the selected folder's name and with .docx files in subfolders, if any, as in the binder. The second method uses Scrivener's compile feature to export your entire project as a single file. Choose File, Compile, then choose Microsoft Word .docx from the menu at the top of the dialog. In the Format sidebar, click Default. Click Compile and choose a location for your file. Scrivener pieces together the various elements of the top-level folder of your binder and generates a .docx file. You can download a 30-day free trial of Scrivener from Mac or Windows at scrivener.com.